How to install WordPress in cPanel. Hello and welcome back again. In this video session we're going to quickly install WordPress in cPanel. At this stage you should have registered your domain with your preferred um, registrar and also you should have purchased web hosting um, service and they should have provided you with username and password for your web hosting manager and also FTP login information surely you always keep these ready and secure let's go online and let's quickly learn to install WordPress WordPress Essentials training course will take this domain as an example and I will show you how to set up a WordPress site easily and properly as well and along the way I will share with you some tips and tricks for making sure everything works better than if you were to just install without considering certain factors such as security and so on now you can install WordPress in two different ways you can use one-click apps they're called Fantastico or something else sometimes depending on your web hosting provider okay? the user interface may look different of your cPanel as well now if you were to install WordPress manually then you have to download WordPress content management system and simply follow the process shown in this video tutorial that I made about installing WordPress manually it's very easy anyway even if you were to install it manually but I always encourage you to use one-click apps where possible simply locate the menu option for one-click apps and find WordPress press on it and then when you do surely you can read a little bit more about it but let's install this application because that's what this is WordPress content management system and one-click apps allow you to quickly install it choose the root directory to install to but be aware you can install WordPress into different folders as well always choose the recommended version that's usually the latest stable version surely you need to read the license agreement you can read through the process of updates and select the ones that you prefer I tend to keep the updates um, you know I manage the updates myself but that's totally up to you because when you log into WordPress dashboard if there are any updates it will give you the red warning icon saying there is updates or you can choose the automatic updates as you see here okay? always keep these details these are to do with logging into your dashboard because one-click apps creates all these details and whatever you do don't never use usernames such as admin for managing WordPress in fact you have to copy and keep details for username you show the password and copy it or you can generate another one if you're not happy with the one that's automatically generated for you once again this will be used to log into WordPress dashboard you can give title to your site here if you want or you can manage that later on as I will show you you have additional settings here uh, add, adds another security layer so to speak and always surely consider if it's recommended limit login attempts is a great feature of WordPress and I definitely encourage you to have that um, enabled multi-site you can surely search Google about multi-site and how to use manage WordPress using multi sites you have advanced settings and management here let's quickly take a peek at it so we can see what's going on there but one-click apps allow you the ease of installation 
so you don't have to go into these details to see I just wanted to show you this because when you use one click apps you can actually set automatic backups to be pre performed through your web hosting so just in case if your WordPress site ever breaks you always have a backup copy located on your server in fact if you manage another web hosting account somewhere else then you can actually back your WordPress site up on a completely different web hosting account so that option is available for you there and you may choose it if you so please okay so as you can see if I didn't you know talk you through these points you could have just installed WordPress with a click of a button and it's just gonna go ahead and do its magic as in one click apps that's what it is one click installation surely in this example it's taking maybe two three clicks but nonetheless you kinda understand the importance of it now while this is going on let me show you the folder structure because this will surely come in handy on your cPanel you'll have file manager option go to your home directory almost 99% of web hosting providers will have a similar interface as what you're seeing as far as the folder structure and file structure of your web hosting usually the public folder is called public underscore HTML but it may be the case that yours is perhaps HTML as in folder named HTML now as you can see this folder actually was empty before the only um, folder that was generated when you created the web hosting account was this here all these other folders and files has been generated by this application and it's still happening now it's also creating the database and tables for you let me show you where they are as well now before I do that remember this is what is making your WordPress site work as you can see WP basically stands for WordPress and these are the folders and in WordPress um, content folders in WP hyphen content folder is where when you upload images this is where it goes in in uploads folder and it's actually date based so that means it's really well organized your themes are pre um, packaged with WordPress so that uh, what that means is you can quickly you know have a function in site all done for you but surely you can install new themes which I will show you plugins is a great feature of WordPress that's why you know utilizing um, WordPress is great because there are <laughs> great themes great plugins in fact you can do almost anything with WordPress because some people think WordPress is just used for blogging that's not true you can have a full-blown e-commerce site using WordPress and as you can see the options we chose before are all installed in the plugins folder limit login attempts was a plugin so was the other two form um, two-factor authentication and so on our databases using one-click apps is already created automatically for you as you can see these were empty before one-click apps has just installed WordPress site for you that that's how simple it is right yeah what is very important is for you to first of all take a look at these two files 
the only file that is required is, is this one and not this one this is a sample as you can see but because we use one click apps everything is done for us so then you can just delete that sample file because you have the other one generated what I encourage you to do is right click and edit or view it it's totally up to you what you want is you want to keep these details handy for maintaining your WordPress site so this is the database and this is the user for that database and this is the password for this user and everything is installed we don't have to edit anything we just copy those information so that we have a copy of just in case and where are we yes we can with one click apps select the installation and create another backup if we want you can say initial and backup when you do one click app is going to do its magic and create a backup on your server now as you can see we've got the databases happening I'm sorry I'm moving up and down just to see what the database name is and so on okay databases option will be available to you on your cPanel and you will also have a link for PHP my admin if we click on it this is the PHP my admin interface and if you look at this database name this is where your WordPress uh, dynamic content resides in and if we look at the name we will see that it corresponds to that detail found in WP config file you can at this stage export your database as well to keep a copy of the database itself it's just a matter of choosing custom and click go now what happened was that we installed WordPress we've created a backup that is initial now all we have to do is simply refresh and voila we have a brand new WordPress site installed with just few clicks now to log in to our dashboard all we have to do is type WP login.php give the username and password automatically generated earlier on and keep in mind never use a username such as admin and so on and voila this is the dashboard of WordPress fully installed site that is working now we can make the tweaks learn what we need to for managing a WordPress site I thank you for learning with me and I'll talk to you in the next video session